Well, runners are proving their persistence and determination today. Nothing will stop them, including the cold weather. Thousands laced up their sneakers to run 26.2 miles throughout the city this morning for the annual Philadelphia Marathon. The race kicked off at 7 a.m. and Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson is at the finish line with more. Good afternoon, Becca. Good afternoon, Nydia. Chris is right. When it's not gusting out here, it's really not that bad. The wind is pretty warm. Still, I'm going to show you what's really important for these runners in this weather. It's these heat sheets you see them ripping off. Everyone puts them around their shoulders after the race. It's going to warm them back up after they just ran those 26.2 miles. We still have tons of people finishing under the five hour mark. An incredible accomplishment today for these runners, especially considering these conditions. Frigid temperatures and whipping winds couldn't stop nearly 30,000 runners from this 26.2 mile race. My feet were asleep for the first like seven miles, so probably took an hour or so to warm up and then felt good for around an hour. Of course, there's no better way to warm up than running an entire marathon, or so these athletes claim. The conditions actually were not bad. It was cool, keep your body temperature low, and it was a really fun, well organized event. I used to ski, so I was like, our ski race. I was like, this feels like ski racing. Just think of it that way. This is the 29th year of the AACR Philadelphia Marathon, attracting athletes from all around the world. The fastest male, Dominic Ardorno from Texas, finished in about two hours and 14 minutes. Meanwhile, the Philadelphian claimed the top female spot. Amber Zimmerman broke the tape in two hours and 31 minutes. Congratulations. She's off to train for Olympic trials. Meanwhile, Phoebe Klauser has a wedding to plan. She crossed the finish line with a personal best to find her boyfriend friend Rourke on one knee on the other side. Well, doing it for both of our families and the city that she's from and loves so much. The sport she loves so much. I thought it was a perfect time. No, no, not at all. <laughs> No, this is the best surprise ever and I love him so much. So this is great. Oh, a huge congratulations to both Rourke and Phoebe on their engagement and of course Phoebe on finishing this marathon. Of course, as you see those runners finish, you can see that the Benjamin Franklin Parkway is shut down for now as a result of this marathon. Plenty of road closures in and around the art museum as this marathon continues. Uh, from what I'm told, most roads will be opened by 5 p.m. Nydia, live here at the marathon, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6 Action News. Back to you. Yeah, congratulations to all, Becca. Thank you.